Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fantastic Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. First, friends, if you haven't checked out Facebook user groups, the Tinkercad Worldwide user group is awesome. I see a ton of questions, and this was a fun one. I've got a solution. Let me show you how we make it. I'm going to start, friends, by naming my project. I'm going to call this Nested Arches. I'm not sure quite what that is, but that's what it makes sense to me, and I want you to see how to name a project. I also want you to see this awesome part. We search for it. It is called the bent pipe. If you type bent, you can find it. Note if you fill in the star, that makes it a favorite. I'm gonna just bring this out and set it down here. And then if we close the search, you can see this is where your favorites will be from then on. To find that one, you just have to hit more shapes because the more you have, the further down it goes. Now with this sort of shape, when you click on it, there are properties you can adjust. We're gonna do this entire project just using the properties. You can stretch the handles, but that breaks these parameters. So I do not recommend doing that. When you click on this, I do not know the exact numbers the user wanted. I just set mine to 10. I used five, so that way it shows up filled in. Right now the arc diameter is 20. We need this middle one. Notice how this shows up on the grid real slick, counting by tens. And then the bend angle is 180, and I chose to make the legs 40. So here's the dilemma. If we do control D and we take this arc diameter and set it to zero, it stops at one. After a moment, the part appears. But if we do L for a line, choose this one as the middle, we have got a gap. So this was real cool till it didn't work. I have got a solution to fix that though. I need to thank ZDP189. He showed, he shared an awesome part called the HD Taurus. I'm gonna type HD and right here is the HD Taurus. I'm gonna make it a favorite as well. And let's bring it out and set it in the middle. Now it came in with a radius of 10, which is perfect because that's a diameter of 20, which we needed. We need to change the sides. I'm going to tell you the number we want here is 64. I did some guess and check, and I found that the perfect number for the tube sides is 32. And then I had to make the tube radius 5 so that we got the size 10 right here. If we select all of this and do L for a line, purple one the master, that was already lined up. You can see we've got it in place. I just need to nudge it up so it's at the exact spot. Now we need to add the legs. Friends, are you ready for this? Simply go back to your basic shapes and bring out a cylinder and cruise it on the end of the tube. This is useful because we can get the sides right. Once again, like I said a moment ago, 32. And then we need to shift squeeze it to that size 10. So when I shift squeeze, I type in the box 10. And now if we select those two, and do L for a line. Once again, purple one, the boss. This time we want to come out to this edge and we want to center it. And you'll see that the lines match up. So that is where I kept trying numbers. I did 16, 24, and 32 so that I could find them. And now are you ready for this? 10 millimeters. Shift nudge, shift nudge to get it in place. And then we know this leg is 40. So are you ready for this? change that distance to 40 and press enter, and it matches up perfectly. Control D, shift nudge, and your legs are in place. The final part is that we need to cut this off. Friends, we're gonna do that by simply bringing out a whole cube, already size 20. So remember, this is size 20, so we wanna cut it in half. Change that to 10, and now we can shift select, L for a line, make the red one the boss, and we want to come to that edge and be in the center. Now we can shift select those two and do control G to group them. It takes a moment for it to group, but your parts are lined up and you're ready to continue building your project. Let's add one more of those rings. Notice the arc diameter is 10 and 10 more, so we simply make it 60. And then we shift select L for a line, make the last ring the boss, and choose center. And you continue that as far as you want the project to go. Don't forget it did have to cut in half. I'm going to stretch this out 
all the way across it. I'm going to change the height to 5. So that way it's cut in half. And we can finally select it all and do Control G to group. Notice these are complex, so you do have to wait a moment. But there is our cool little shape. Notice you can see a seam that is typical in Tinkercad. When you 3D print it, that should not show up, though. Finally, do D to drop so that it is on the work plane. Friends, nested arches in just a few minutes. Once again, huge shout out to ZDP for the Taurus skills and a shout out to Cindy for the awesome question. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I just want to remind you one more time about my website, hlmodtech.com. As you know, I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Below that, you'll also find a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you look down just a little further, you will find all of the information about my class, Tinkercad in 20 Days, that can be found on cadclass.org. Don't forget, there is also a coupon code. Lastly, up at the top, you will find the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.